guys, welcome to Spaces of Lucidity. I'm Abhishek and uh, well today I'm going to talk about uh, the ready-made attitude of us Indians. Now I think it's a very special thing which comes to us and you'll see throughout the show how. Um, <clears throat> well to, to bring it to perspective I would like to start with something in far west, not far west but yeah up there in the west in Germany. Um, have you guys heard of sauerkraut? Now this is a cabbage pickle, you know, it, it's, uh, you put it in salt water and leave it for a few weeks and then you get sauerkraut. But it takes weeks before it actually becomes sauerkraut and it's a process of, well, patience to actually get the product which you wish. But now most people for the convenience of it walk up to a shelf grab a machine chopped vacuum sealed overly priced mass produced can of sauerkraut well this trend is somehow coming to our dear west oh sorry this trend is coming to our dear east too uh, we have to begin with one thing which our intern hates a lot rajma chawal uh, there's shahi paneer there's palak paneer there's i don't know i don't know there's upma there's upma now so I don't know, I haven't tasted it, but I have heard it's pretty bad. Yes. Um, well, what happened to the, you know, to the whole joy of cooking? What about, what, what about the whole uh, chemistry of taste? You know, you put the salt in, you put the chili in, you put whatever you want and then see what comes out. You know, and then you lift the lid up when the steam comes in and it fills up the room and you say, wow, it smells good. It's ready to eat. What about that? I don't know. Well, I think we haven't really, you know, uh, stopped at just roti. We've gone to kapra and makana as well. Well, tell me, what was the last time you actually went to your local darji and got yourself a pair of trousers stitched? And I don't mean, you know, for a special occasion. I don't mean for work. I don't mean for your friend's wedding. I mean, you know, you felt like picking up a meter of cloth, going to the darji, getting your measurements done and getting these trousers stitched which actually fit you and not not that you're supposed to fit into them. You know, when was the last time you actually did that? Well, that brings us to Makam. Um, you ride, say, 30 kilometers out of Pune and you would see how Pune used to be, I think, six years back. You know, open fields, tiny self-made houses and then you ride back and then you'll start seeing these ugly buildings which all look the same. You know, there used to be a time when people would actually take pride in building their own house but I don't think people nowadays want to go through that process. They want two bedroom houses, three bedroom houses with with a jacuzzi fit in, they need a swimming pool there, they need a clubhouse, and they trade in their own space. You know, they, they all want to look the same. They all want to fit into this particular image which you see on those ugly billboards which are out there, you know? And I, don't, I just don't get it. I just don't get it. And if you have the answers to that, I think the comments section down there is open, put it up and I'll reply to you. Let's start a discussion. Well, when it comes to laziness, I, I think it's kind of woven into our cultural fabric, into our genes. You know, we don't stop at roti, kapra and makan. You know, we also want ready-made love. I cannot imagine how lazy, submissive and spineless you have to be to actually allow your parents to pick the person you're gonna spend the rest of your life with. You know, and how twisted are those parents who actually, till the, till the marriage age, they would protect you from everything. You know, and then on that fine day, they let you sleep with that stranger just because that stranger complies with this parental checklist. You know, you know how I see it when I visualize it? It feels like two monkeys in a cage, you know? They just have to, you know what? 
they have to do it there's no other option well don't you think by this want of a ready made destination we are actually robbing ourselves of essence of life itself isn't life supposed to be about the journey rather than the destination i don't know you tell me are we in our rush to achieve what we are made to believe is important actually forgetting what really is important well did we all forget that it wasn't just the tasty warm patties of santosh bakery that we went there as kids it was about riding there with your mom squirming through the crowd to reach the counter tap, and tapping on the crowd counter excitedly so that the attendant notices you and hands you those tasty patties then you squirm back and run to your mom who places you on top of the kinetic and as you sit and relish those patties she slowly wipes off the crumbs of your face you know i think like this everything is about experience and you have to live each step of it you can't skip steps and if you do you're missing out on a lot that's all i have to say thank you for watching my piece um hit subscribe if you like what i said even if you didn't and our comment section is open so and we want to engage in conversation so please comment there and i'll see you next week till then watch anurag's or mathrace videos ciao